I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a combined work problem for the DAP. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of Orgo Man Products and the author of the Debt Destroyer book. I want to go over a problem with you today with Professor Blois, and he's going to go on a problem what is known as combined work problems. These are very commonly asked questions on the DAT, and I think you'll enjoy it. So I'm going to let Professor Blois hit this problem and we'll see what we can do. Okay. Hi, Professor Blois here, and we'll let's solve this problem. Let's read the problem. Jim can paint a house in five hours. Lou can paint the same house in three hours. Question A, if they both work together, how long will it take Jim and Lou to paint the house? Combined work problem, what we're gonna do is add the rates at which both each Jim and Lou are working. So look, Jim can paint a house in five hours. So that means his rate is one house in five hours. We're going to add that to Lou's rate one house in three hours. Now in math, we usually don't add rates, but because they're both working on the same project, the same task, we can add the rates. And that's gonna give us uh, how long it will take to paint the house one over T. T will be the, uh, the, the, the uh, combined time of uh, when Jim and Lou are working together. So all we have to do is solve for T. Very simple equation. How do we solve an equation like this with fractions? we find the least common denominator of all three fractions involved. What's the least common denominator here? It's what? Five times three times t is 15t. So let's multiply each of these, both sides of the equation by 15t. 15t, 15t, using the distributive property, 15t. And we simplify that, what do we get? We're gonna get three plus five uh, 3t plus 5t is equal to 15. Well, 3t plus 5t, that gives us 8t, and that gives us a time of 15 over 8, or 1 and 7 eighths hours. Okay? So that's, that's our solution. And we know that the combined rate, the time it's going to take them, is going to be less than the time of the fastest guy. It's gonna be less than three hours. So if we're given multiple choice and one of them is uh, uh, like seven hours or four hours or even three hours, we know that's wrong. It has to be less than three hours because two guys are working at the same time. Here's a little variation on that problem. How long will it take Jim and Lou to paint the house if Lou only works for one hour? Well, what do you do in that case? Well. If Lou only works for one hour, it takes Lou three hours to paint the house. If he only works for one hour, he's painted one third of the house. That means he leaves to Jim two thirds of the house to paint. So if Jim can paint the entire house in five hours, he only has two thirds of the work to do. So the answer is simply gonna be two thirds of five hours. Simple as that. And so the answer is gonna be what? 10 thirds or three and one third hours. Okay, three hours, 20 minutes. And that's uh, a commonly encountered variation on these combined work problems. Okay, I hope this gives you a really good idea of what to do. We're gonna start developing more intricate problems as we go down the road, but this should give you a good start on how to approach a work problem. So you have two more in the bag. I want you to make sure you go over these and then we'll see what we can do when we get to the Mantis Destroyer. Okay, good day to you. Bye-bye.